Right. The big question for investors is whether two more hikes could derail this rally, like a big stay puff marshmallow man. My next guest does not see that happening because there's too much cash sitting on the sidelines, says investors will be anxious to deploy that. Joining me now, Andrew Slimmon, senior portfolio manager at Morgan Stanley Investment Management. Andrew, um, no Ghostbusters commentary, no more here. It's, it's interesting. Last month you said, despite an overbought market and plenty of reasons for near-term caution, I have a hard time seeing the market correcting much. It hasn't, right? So, so how does the Fed play into that from here? Well, eventually the Fed is going to slow the economy enough that earnings estimates are going to be too high and we're coming down. But we're just not seeing that yet. <clears throat> and I think a big upside for the market is that earnings growth will inflect from negative in the second quarter to positive in the fourth quarter. And that's going to build some enthusiasm. Now, you can say, hey, next year's earnings estimates are too high. We won't really know that till next year. So as long as companies report in the second quarter in line with what's expected, then I think the earnings estimates for next year will inflect positive and markets tend to put a pretty big multiple on that. And so I think that's to come in the, you know, in the third in going into the fourth quarter. Challenging market because stocks have run so far. So you say that people should average in cash this summer on a monthly basis. That's what you said in the last month's note, right? That, that's right. So last year, I was pounding the table on, you know, in every 5% decline, starting at down, down 15, you got to add to equities. And I felt like an idiot when the market was down 25%. I just don't think you're going to get that fat pitch this year because the number one question I get from people is, when's the pullback coming? I've got cash to deploy. And that's consistent, unfortunately, John, as you know, with coming out of a bear market low. Unfortunately, investors don't buy equities. They sell equities. <laughs> and the data su suggests that people have been net sellers of equities since really last summer. And I think that will reverse. Because to say it won't reverse is to say, the fear to greed cycle is not there. So I think once that reverses, you know, that's going to push the market higher. But that's why we're not getting much downside. That's why the volatility is very low, because all pullbacks are viewed as opportunity. Look at the first week in July. We had a little bit of pullback. Boom. The market reversed right away. So I think it's very, very consistent with the early stages of a bull market. I certainly can see the market is very overbought. And the high beta stocks, speculative stocks have done very well here. We're going into earnings season with lots of expectations. It gets me nervous, uh, but I question, given the lack of fund flows, mm. uh, whether uh, there will be much of a pullback. Okay, so you so say we could get another leg higher this fall, but then what about after that? Because fall, and especially the end of December, has been awfully tricky for the past several years, almost scarily, consistently Things can reverse. So how should investors position for that, and, and what should they watch for? I think it's going to be a good fourth quarter because I think the anxiety of too much cash is going to eventually, investors are going to capitulate and say, i got to get that more invested in retail, institutional, they're underweight in equities. And I think that capitulation will, will push the market higher, not to mention Again, I think investors put a big multiple on inflecting earnings higher. And if next year's consensus is 245, I think you get a pretty big number. So my biggest worry and it's really the story of post-COVID. If you look at COVID, investors sold equities all through 2020 into 2021. And then they finally capitulated, caught the last few innings, and then the market sold off in 2020. Mm. I suspect that this will be the same story, which is this year will be a good year, very, very okay. good year for equities, and it will last a little bit until next year, okay. and then we'll start to worry about a slowdown. I got, I got to admit, I'm a little concerned because, you know, we got Taylor Swift's Eras Tour. We got the Barbie movie. We're awfully happy this summer, so just got to be careful out there. Andrew Slimmon with Morgan Stanley. Thank you.